Hello guys, what's going on? Texas Dust Gaming here, and I'm just gonna do a quick video. It's only gonna be like two minutes long. For a problem somebody was having with collisions, I said I'd do a video for them. Um, so here it is. This is gonna just show you how to do collisions so you can go inside a box and outside a box using a hole that's in the box. So if I just, it, what all we're gonna do is we're gonna get an active, and you're gonna drag it out to be slightly bigger click new and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a black line put size up and just that's yellow and just draw a line straight across the top like this straight down the side like this and straight across the bottom like that now what he was doing was he was asked this is probably not what he meant, so I'm not sure. But what he was doing is here, he w I'm guessing he was trying to get uh, little actives to go into here, which that is pretty easy. What he was doing, which was making them collide, was he had set the inside in white like that, so they were still colliding with the box. What you want to do is use this down here, which is an invisible. It's do it's like there's nothing there. And that's what you want it to be set in. So if we just copy and then paste four of these, and then do what he did, he rotated one like that, and then one like that, and then one like that, and then he set to be looped. And I'm guessing he used like a speed of 20. I'm not entirely sure, but this is basically what he had. This no, that's way too fast. He just definitely didn't use a speed of 20. He used probably like five um, there that's more like it that's what he had um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create an active this is what all the other actives are going to be going towards uh, so that's what they're going to be doing and now we're going to create another active and we're going to rename this active mouse this active is going to be called gravity and what we're going to do is then we're going to create one more active and this is going to be um, just a plain red box and we're going to do going to go to your mouse and you're going to do movement is mouse controlled so there we go so now we're going to do go into your event editor control E do new condition active 2 which is your red box collisions another object active 2 again change its movement to be oh we didn't set its movement we want its movement to be um, bouncing ball M movement uh, stop sorry no movement yeah movement yeah movement stop do, then do new condition um, always which is under the two cogs and then go under your active two and do um, direction look in direction of and then you can set to your gravity object so that that's how that's going to work then do new condition user uh, mm, repeat while mouse key is pressed uh, go under this box here which is create new object create object uh, active 2 okay relative to your mouse controlled object and that should work oh one, more, one last thing new condition active 2 collisions another object and in your box okay and then drag down the movement stop so that, that should work now we have this and that's uh that doesn't work okay that's um that didn't work <coughs> uh we're gonna actually re go to where you put uh, repeat while left mouse key is pressed right click and click replace and put uh mouse user clicks left click and change it to that and 
all we're gonna do is delete these stop things and go on movement and change it to bounce. Now that should work. There. Now it's always going to. Oh, that's not working. Hmm. Why is that not working? Peep. Okay. New condition, keyboard, press and scare, close the application. That'll stop me having to task manager close it. Um, okay, why is this not working? And one last thing. We'll drag that down and change this one to gravity. And put movement stop. Because this time we don't want we don't want them to glitch out all over the place. Um, let's try this. Let's make these smaller. Instead of having this as mouse controlled, let's put it up here. Go this, and then go. You. Re replace where it says user clicks with left button and change it to the mouse user clicks on an object single click um, your mouse object create an object delete that put change it to create object uh, active to here so now this should when we click on this it creates them and there when it comes round this gap here we'll just quick recreate a thing so the, you just don't need to do this uh, I'm just doing this to sh for an example we'll just change this to movements uh, oh is it under animation maybe? animation stuff okay so here so this is what we've got now these will only go through this hole here. They can't go through these. Um, this is all like they'll just get stuck on that. They'll pile up. But whenever this hole comes around, they will fall through. So uh, if we do another key and put animation start, and then go to this, and if we check, we're going to change this this thing's speed to one so I can show you. So application now this changes very slowly there. Now that's stopped these boxes here cannot go through here but straight away it rotates round one they will all fall through and that's how you do it because the secret to that is all is that this is a see-through thing if I was to make that white how the person I got this idea to do this for did it then you can spawn as many as you want but they will not go through the white or if they will why anyway that's basically how you do it all you need to do is put a see-through border and that'll work so that's how you do it if that's if that solves your problem then great so thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next tutorial I hope you enjoyed like, comment and subscribe and bye.